how to connect HubSpot to WordPress. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can get started with connecting HubSpot to your WordPress website. So let's get into it. Now you guys can see I have HubSpot integrated over here and you might wonder what is the purpose of using HubSpot with your WordPress website and what can you really accomplish with it? Well, before I go into step by step on how to integrate, let's discuss some of the reasons why you should do this. First off, HubSpot is a CRM manager. It allows you to manage your marketing, sales, services, CMS operations, and so much more. It can be a all-in-one platform for a lot of businesses to manage their day-to-day -day ticketing and business relations. And I definitely do think that a lot of businesses should invest in a good CRM like HubSpot. It's easy to use and it really simplifies a lot of people. Now, integrating this kind of system into your WordPress website can really help you in improving the overall experience of using WordPress. Why? Because instead of having to go to another third party for email, you know, your email marketing or having to take your emails that you receive on WordPress and then having to import them or export them off to HubSpot, having to manually do all those things can be tiring. And HubSpot can allow you to create forms, contacts, live chats and add them directly to your WordPress website without having to do any third party hassle. So let's get into integrating these two together. I'm going to delete HubSpot from my WordPress first so I can show you guys exactly how you're going to uh, get started with HubSpot as well. So I'm just going to delete it from here. So now I've deleted HubSpot. Now, how can you get started with integrating HubSpot? All you have to do is log on to your WordPress website. Once you have logged on to your WordPress website, you are going to scroll down and click on plugins and then click on add new. It's on the left side of your screen. It's your, in your navigation panel. And over here, you just want to search for HubSpot. So once you search for HubSpot, it will be the first application. It's HubSpot CRM email marketing live chat forms and analytics. We're just going to click on install now. Once you have installed it, you're just going to click on activate. Now, this will lead you to the HubSpot page and you will have to link your HubSpot account. So from here, if you don't have an account on HubSpot already, you can click on got an account and you can sign into your pre-existing one. Or if you don't have one, just click on create an account and you can get started with HubSpot for free. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on got an account and I will sign into my a HubSpot account. I'm just signing in. If you don't have one, just use your email address to create one and I will continue with this user. Then you're going to click on uh, view your other accounts and I'm just going to create a fresh new account. This is called Dead in Fashion. My, that's the name of my website. So I'm going to name the same thing for my website and my uh, business name. This is the uh, URL. So this is correct. And I'm just going to add my industry and we are in the apparel and fashion industry. Then you have your job role. I'm just going to add owner and I know my way around HubSpot and we're just going to click on next. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, HubSpot will be integrated. Now, all you have to do is click on connect website. And this will help you in connecting your website. So now our website is connected to HubSpot. So we have this basic user guide. I'm just going to skip it because we don't really need it. Now, what you're going to find on HubSpot, it has been integrated onto your WordPress website. On the left side of your screen, you're going to find contacts, forms, live chat, email, settings, lists, and reporting. Now, with your pre-existing HubSpot account, you will be able to see all of your pre-existing contacts. And then to collect more contacts, you can easily go on ahead, go to forms, and you can create a new form using the HubSpot form builder like this. And you can use whatever one you want uh, and you can design it in HubSpot using the simple drag and drop editors and then add them to 
you know, the people that will input this information, it's going to sync up to both your WordPress and your HubSpot account. So when you're doing your email marketing, you don't have to worry about, oh, first I have to view all the emails from WordPress, import them, convert them into a CSV, then import it onto HubSpot, then you can start marketing. No, these will be synced up directly to both your HubSpot and WordPress account. So you can just create your form as you normally would on HubSpot. Another great feature that I love to use is the live chat. A lot of people underestimate the power of this live chat. It's super effective. And so instead of having to use any kind of third party for creating a basic live chat, you can easily use the HubSpot live chat and it's really effective and simple and efficient to uh, use. Now to get started, all you have to do is click on live chat on the left side of your navigation panel. This will open up how you want to set it up. So whatever color scheme you want to choose, then you're going to click on next, choose the specific user that is going to answer and you can write any kind of welcome message. Then you're going to click on next over here and you can add your user-based availability or working hours. So when is your chat available? Uh, you can also make it available 24 seven or add your specific working hours. Let's say it's Monday to Friday and it's going to be maybe Let's say we start working hours at 12 to uh, 10 p.m. So let's say these are our working hours. These will be added and this will show up in the live chat. So people have an estimate of when they can expect a response to their live chat. Now, availability behavior is how your team is going to appear, whether it's available or not. Now, when it's available, it should show typically replies within a few minutes. If you set up yourself as away, then we want a away message. It's a very standardized message. Then you have um, outside working hours. So uh, show the return time, show a away message. So I like to show a away message instead of having a return time, but it's totally up to you how you want to set up your live chat. Then you will get a preview of what your live chat is going to look like on multiple different devices. You have the tablet one, you have the desktop one, and then you can just click on publish. And now just like that, you have a live chat added to your WordPress website via HubSpot. And if you get any ticketing queries with this live chat, you can directly import them to your HubSpot ticketing system. You also get email marketing lists available over here. So from here, you can integrate email marketing and for any lists or reporting, further lists or reporting, uh, this will re-navigate you to HubSpot where you can open up your reporting systems or reporting or analytics and start your basic lists and start segmentation with your business. A lot of the times it's very, very beneficial if you create lists for multiple different spending segments of your website. So let's say you see certain users are spending above a certain amount. You can create a list of those users and then send targeted emails for them to spend more. You can uh, also incentivize people that are spending less money on your website too uh, with discount codes or coupon codes as well. Or even if it's not related to e-commerce, let's say it's related to just general viewership. So if you see some people are visiting the site often, but they are not reading anything completely. So you can incentivize those people as well with these segmented lists. So I hope you guys have found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with connecting HubSpot to your WordPress website. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.